Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to integrate Defender for DevOps with GitHub Advanced Security. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. So to begin with, I will log on to my uh, GitHub account. So this is my, I'm logged on to the GitHub. Now, if you don't have it, please obtain the trial of GitHub Enterprise Cloud account uh, because we need that to complete this lap. I also don't have it, but I'll tell you the process to do it. Now, when you log on to the Microsoft portal, please go to Defender for Cloud. Click on Environment Settings. Click on Add Environment. Click on GitHub. Select a name. You can do this. Uh, resource group. You can select any resource group. Region is Central US because it is in, still in preview. You authorize the connection. You click on Authorize Defender for DevOps. Authorize Microsoft Security. You are authorized. And then you install the Defender for DevOps app. All repositories, click on install. Enter the password. Review and create, click on create. Let me pause the video and come back. It says new GitHub connector created successfully. Now, if you want to, if you go back to your environment settings, you see the GitHub connector, you will see one connector enabled, right? This is the one. This is the connector that is enabled. These are the details of the connector. Now, if you want to select the plan, you can edit or make changes to the plan. Now, if you want to configure the Microsoft Security DevOps GitHub action, what you can do is you can log into your... Uh, Get to GitHub and let's say you log on to any repo. Pick any demo repo that you want. You click on actions. You are so if you have a uh, dev DevOps uh, sec uh, task in this or any of the workflow that you have in the YAML you have to add a task that will uh, or simple action workflow into this to do the scan using the DevOps so you that will be run Microsoft Security DevOps task it will uh, under the category infrastructure as a code, then when you will commit that, you will see that when you do a commit file, there will be a code scanning task and it will list out any unsupported uh, thing. And But if you don't see anything, it is because your code scanning feature is disabled in GitHub. Make sure that you enable the code scanning feature.
let me copy and paste that in here start commit commit new file This process can take up to one minute to complete. A workflow gets created in the repository GitHub folder with this YAML file. This is the workflow. It will take time. Now click on actions to verify. The new action is running and completed. In progress see it says in progress let's wait let me pause the video and come back okay so this task got completed it says create ms do iac scan commit by me on the uh, once this job completed we have to navigate to the uh, security tab and go on to the code scanning So when you click on that, you click on security. Click here. You click on code scanning. Latest scan three minutes ago. If it's IS branch open you click on here so if you do not see any code scanning results make sure that you is open you type in tool Every task is done. Right. Now, code scanning findings will be filtered by specific MSDO tools uh, on GitHub. So, if you see this MSDO, MSDO IAC scan, right? If you'll click on it, you will see these annotations, security, and uh, uh, security warnings that we see. Right, so the code scanning results are also pulled into Defender for Cloud recommendation as well because we have connected this. Now we should see this under the recommendation. Now, if I click on recommendations, we might see the code scanning things here. If I'll do no, or I'll do code. Not yet, so my, it might take time, but it's for sure that these results are also pulled into Defender for Cloud recommendations. So I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have, if you still have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.